What up, peeps? Tony Baker here, back with another movie review, man. This time I'm reviewing the the horror film Night Swim. Uh, we kicking off the new year in scary fashion, I see, in a movie about a haunted swimming pool. A haunted swimming pool. I mean, I mean, I mean, when it comes to the horror genre, some of the premises can sound crazy. And if they work, they can really work. And if they don't, then they ain't working. When you think about a swimming pool, now Jaws is one thing. You go out into the ocean, you're having a good time. It's a crazy killer shark in the waters. I don't even know if Jaws was really crazy, but he was just, I'm gonna eat people. This is what, I, this is what I'm gonna do. I know sharks, you know we eat a lot of seafood, but if you in the sea, you is food. That's pretty much Jaws' mentality. And it had people scared to go in the water. Jaws was a phenomenon when it hit the streets in the 70s. And when you're in the ocean, everybody want to be in the ocean. Everybody want to frolic and be free and like, you know what I'm saying? Let's swim in the ocean, you know what I'm saying? And then Jaws is in there, you like, let's go to the swimming pool. And now you got a movie like Night Swim. Now you can't even go to the swimming pool. So now you're just going to have to take a shower and hush. But this movie revolves around a family that they're looking for a fresh start. The, the story revolves around a dad who is a former uh, Major League Baseball third baseman, but he's suffering from MS. So he's having these physical health issues and they look at this house uh, they thought about putting him in a facility where he can get, you know, constant care. He's just like, no, nah. they look at this house and he's just like, it's got a nice swimming pool in there. And the doctor just told me that I could I could rehabilitate and kind of work on, you know, my muscles through, you know, the swimming pool was a great exercise. You getting good resistance in that pool with low impact stuff going on. So it was like, man, I really like this pool. But the pool, though, is killing people. And it's linked to like this spring water situation where the spring waters was actually like haunted for whatever reason. So it's just like the haunted spring water that's that's going into the underneath of the pool, like it's in that whole community, but this particular pool already took a life in the beginning of the film. So it's just like, all right, the pool is haunted. So when you get in there, be careful. It's gonna be some ghost stuff happening. My whole thing is this, premise aside, the pool is not scary enough for me because you can just get the hell up out of there. At any point in time, oh, hell no, I'm getting the hell up out the pool. I saw something in the pool, something was in the pool. Now the reason plot-wise, they be like, they can kind of keep you in that pool vicinity. Well, dad's doing better and he really needs the pool, so we just gonna keep it in, no. We not keeping it on the hush. I'm sorry, Dad, we keep moving. We're gonna have to move again, cause the pool is on it. There's some weird stuff going on in the pool. I saw some stuff. Somebody was talking to me. Somebody grabbed me. Nobody was there. You only you only got to be weird with me one time. If I seen somebody that wasn't there, yo, were you, were you at the pool? Nah, I wasn't there. You know what, when I was under the water, I saw you standing there looking at me. When I came out, you were gone. Fuck this pool. Fuck this house, we out. We out! The movie should have been 30 minutes. But how long can you keep a scary movie premise going with a haunted pool? It, it, it just, no. And I'll go I'll go somewhere with you. Like I watch Smile and Smile, like you start smiling, you do this weird grin and then you kill yourself. Like, all right, I'm all in. Cause they made it like compelling all throughout. But the haunted pool, man, no. All you got to do is get out. That's it, you just climb them little steps, climb the little ladder, you grab the sides. I can see the ocean because you're in the middle of the ocean. At the beginning of the Jaws, that girl was swimming. She was in the middle of the ocean at night. It's gonna take her a while to get back to land and the shark has the upper hand. So it's like, all right, man, once you out there, you out there. But the swimming pool, most of the pool is shallow. So even then you can run to the shallow side and jump, you can jump out. Nice swim, man, it, it wasn't, it wasn't doing it for me. The first scary movie of the year, it just wasn't doing it for me, man. I wasn't I wasn't compelled enough by the storyline. It wasn't scary. I, I didn't jump, there was no, it might've been one image in there where I was like, oh, but that was it. I just said, oh, and I went back to my popcorn. I wasn't, no. But forget all that, man. Y'all wanna know the, the, the smooth jazz review of Night Swim. Well, here it is. Oh, yeah. I'm giving Night Swim two saxophones out of five. It was just, I cared about the family. I will say that I cared about the family and I was wishing for the best. 
But that premise, the haunted pool from the spring water, once you once you tap into it, it gives you what you need, but you gotta make the sacrifice on I'm out, man. It's the swimming pool, man. Drain the goddamn pool. Let's get out of here. 30 minute movie. Well, let me ask y'all this. Would you move out of a house if just the pool was haunted, but the rest of the house is fine? It's just the pool. You moving out or you sticking around? The house, let's say that you love the house. You absolutely love the house, but the swimming pool is weird. You moving? Let me know in the comment section below. All right, peeps, that's my review of the movie Night Swim, man. Let me know what you thought of the movie in the comment section below. And I want to know, would you move out if your pool was haunted, but you love the house? You absolutely love the house. It's just that pool. Me, if I love the house, I'm just draining that goddamn pool, and we just ain't out there. We're not going to be out there. If it's weird stuff going on in the water, guess what? Drain it! Put some leaves in there. Cover it up. Put a, put a wood paneling over it. I'm going to just make it a deck. I probably wouldn't even make it a deck. You know what? Don't even stand over it. I don't want no funny business. But let me know in the comment section below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And as usual, we out here.